What's up guys, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming and RPG Maker MV is finally out and when you load up RPG Maker MV you're like okay let's check the plugins I know they included all this 37 plugins right let's go to what where's all the plugins where, where are they at and if you're wondering uh, why uh, we've got Yan flies here because I just uh, imported it but right off the bat it's not included they said that it was supposed to be included it's not but I'm sure that you can get it for free um, because I just did so let me walk you guys through how to install Yanfly scripts uh, or plugins at this point um, if with a new, uh, the new uh, freshly installed software and everything. So what you want to do is go to uh, this website. Let me bring this over. Uh, Yanfly.mo slash yep. And uh, he, he's going to have uh, all these uh, plugins for free now. Well, he's always gave them for free, but you can get these plugins right here. So what you want to do is click on plugins and then you can click on all of the plugins right here to go to their subsequent menus so start with the core engine and it's highly recommend that you place these plugins in the, the correct order you want to have the core engine first basically so click on core engine then you want to go to the Dropbox and then when uh, it comes up you can right click in here and select all right click copy that and then you want to go to your game folder and go to open folder and then you'll see you have a JS folder, so you double click on that. Then you want to right click somewhere in there, create a new text document. Then you want to name it, whatever it's going to be. In this case, it was. Uh, uh, actually, you want to go into plugins. So you can delete that or go into plugins first. Sorry about that. You right click here, create a new text document and you name it the name of whatever it doesn't really matter what you call it but you might want to call it what it is so you don't get confused later on so I named it uh, yep core engine dot js and if you don't have these file extensions on and you just see yep core engine and it doesn't uh, you know you just see weapon skill you don't see the dot js let me walk you through how to do that you go to uh, your start menu this is for Windows 7 it'll be a little different for uh, different versions of Windows but you type in folder options you're going to click uh, on folder options there, then you're going to go to view and then right here where it says hide extensions for known file types uncheck that box hit OK and now you're going to be able to rename the last uh, the file extension so you can turn a text document into a, a, a JavaScript so you're going to open that up you're going to paste what you copied into here and then you're going to uh, save that and then you're going to exit out I've already done it so there's no need to and then you're going to right click it rename and where you have the last dot txt you're going to rename that javascript or js right there it'll say are you sure yeah you say yes and now that's uh, acting as a javascript extension so then what you're going to do is go to uh, not your database but your plugins right click on plugins edit general settings and then you go down uh, you'll see if it's a javascript it'll be a, an option that you can select now so what I want to do is put it at the top so we'll go to core engine and then we have all these values to edit uh, really big upgrade from the game and there's also a help file that's included to go through everything for all of Yanfly stuff now there's some scripts that are not going to have uh, or JavaScripts uh, plugins that aren't going to have help files but most of them will then you hit OK and then save your game and you've already and that's that's all that's it you've already done it you've got it included so that's basically the the steps to to get Yanfly scripts and if you wanted to do the next one you would just go and do the same exact thing go to the Dropbox or the mirror right click select all and the, everything we just did go to your folder for plugins it'll be your wherever your game is saved then it'll say JS and then plugins create a new text document and I hope that helps you, helps you guys. I know I was a little confused at the start because I thought they were going to include it all for free. And uh, and then plus you have to remove the, you have to unhide the file extension. So there's a little bit uh, stuff there that you've got to go through. But hopefully that helps you guys. I'm going to let you guys go real quick video. There's a lot more uh, RPG Maker Envy tutorials coming. So thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, fave, sh uh, share, all that good stuff, and subscribe if you want more MV tutorials. Thank you guys for watching again. We'll see you guys in the next tutorial.